Hi, I'm Don Barnetson, and I'm responsible for Credo's Highwire Active Electrical Cable, or AEC, products. Today I'm going to show you a 400 terabit switch rack based on next generation 800 gig Ethernet, built two ways with DACs and AECs. This rack uses 32 25 terabit switches connected together with 256 cables in a cloth structure to provide 400 terabits of total bandwidth. The 800 gig Highwire AECs, which are a quarter the volume and a quarter the weight of those DACs, and they bend and handle just like Cat6 cables. But not only can I bend them like this, but I can twist them up in a pretzel like this. That makes routing 256 cables in this rack a relative breeze. So one of the key things in a data center is how quickly you can change a switch out in the case of a failure. The whole rack has to keep running, you have to do a hot change. The left hand side here would be transceivers tied to fiber optics. Those come out really easy. Right hand side are these cables. So in the AEC case, let me show you. I can actually pull these cables out relatively quickly and they bundle off next to each other. It's still not a fun job. So now I've got all 16 cables out. So now what I would do is I would unscrew the two sides. I would slide this switch out. You can see there's actually plenty of egress path here. Put a new switch into this space and then I have to replug all these cables. And so let me do that. You can see these DACs have gotten really, really thick. And even if I really put the hurt on these, this is about the best bend radius that I can get at here. This becomes really challenging when we're trying to route 256 of these in one rack. Okay, right, this one's gonna be a little more difficult. So first thing, we'd unplug all the fiber on this side, and then we need to remove these DACs. So I'll start pulling these out, which hopefully will be the, uh, the easy part of this. Okay. So I've got the DAX out now, but I've got a problem in that uh, my friends above and below are kind of collapsing into my space. So I don't really have an easy way to pull this switch out. So somehow I have to clear all of these DAX out of the way, which means I need to actually remove them from their cable guide here. Um, and then I need some way to actually create some separation here. I'm not sure how clear it is on the video, but there's not gonna be enough space to slide this switch out. So let's pretend that somehow I solved those problems and let me show you the process of putting these back in. And there you have it. So had I actually had to pull that switch out, that process probably would have taken me in the order of 20 minutes. Just moving the, in, the DACs in and out was uh, painful, uh, but doable. Thank you.